Hey everyone, this week I thought we'd talk about the upcoming American election, although I thought in passing I'd point out how good it is what with coronavirus to see that the British Dunkirk spirit's finally coming out, by which of course I mean thousands of trapped Britons trying their damnedest to cross the Channel and escape France. But anyway, the US election, centering the last couple of months in what has been the quietest and most lacklustre presidential election since the era when King George III was in charge, and that election largely consisted of a sketch comedy routine performed by his courtiers. The usual feverish wall-to-wall -wall coverage and campaigning has been a trudge this year, as both candidates stumble forward like drunks at closing time, both assured in their own self-confidence and popularity, although one of them will of course have a rude and painful awakening come that morning in November. Up against Mr Trump is Joe Biden, who many have accused of being cognitively impaired following a litany of gaffes, mistakes and an ability to mess up numbers that make you assume he once had a private sector job at Enron. There's hours of clips of him on YouTube if you go browsing, including one where he introduces his sister as his wife, although I don't know the context and perhaps he was trying to play to a crowd in Alabama. The coronavirus has largely saved his campaign by allowing him to remain silent out of the public eye and hide behind a face mask when he is forced to be on display. Gordon Brown presumably wishes he could have shielded his smile and inverted commas behind a face mask back in the day. But anyway, in order to combat the stale old white man image in an era of Black Lives Matter, Joe Biden decided to finally appoint his running mate this week, by which of course I mean the results of a focus group came back and he went with Kamala Harris, who ticks a number of boxes including the one where she can talk coherently, but more importantly it's the ethnicity one, given that we now live in an era when it's likely a matter of time until someone demands that the piano is redesigned to have an equal number of black keys and white keys. This is a week in fact in which NASA decided to rename some star systems such as the Eskimo Nebula in case it was offensive to the Inuit. Although strangely no mention yet of renaming the planets, the Roman god Jupiter is a pretty offensive backstory after all, and you know, they're all named after the gods in the Roman Empire and that was built in slavery, until the Visigoths held a quote peaceful protest in the year 410 and accidentally burnt it to the ground. Despite the Democrats posturing though, I find it amusing when you look at the facts. Joe Biden largely carved himself a career in the 80s and 90s by passing legislation that was disproportionately harsh in minority groups, but it's okay because Kamala Harris is only half white, although she grew up in a white neighbourhood, married a white man and was one of the first to get kicked out of the primary race by the electorate earlier in the year. This is a PR effort by the Democrats, somehow worse than their usual one in which a multi-millionaire candidate decides to remove their tie and slowly drink half a bottle of Coors Light while chatting to a Midwestern voter. You know, sometimes I wonder if US politicians brought in prohibition simply in order to get out of that part of the campaign. Either way, the lack of anything to really get excited about in this election is probably why there's so little action or enthusiasm on the ground. There's no grassroots groundswell, and nobody's leafleting or knocking on doors or getting tattoos made of the candidates. And COVID-19 is certainly nowhere near as responsible for that as the Biden camp would like to make out. Morale is always a strange one though, I guess. After all, if people who made motivational posters are so motivated, why are they still working in a poster factory? Anyway, we'll see come November, I guess, and otherwise see you next week. If you like these, please subscribe.